Good day everybody, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner and welcome to today's video. In today's video, this video is about doing a winch install today. And no, I'm not installing a winch on shit show because I already have a winch. My TJ already has a winch. MJ's coming over with her Jeep JL and we are installing a winch and bumper on that. And what we have right here is that we got an open road 13,000 pound winch synthetic winch line it comes with two remotes even got the cable remote comes with a big huge sticker if you want to put that on and we got a cover putting this on the 2018 JL but of course as you guys know the stock Jeep JL unless you have a Rubicon does not have winch mounting plates Hers is a Sahara, so in order to get around that problem, she got an ARB stubby bumper, which is the same one that I got on my Jeep JK. We're going to put the bumper on, and then we're going to put that winch in. I'm hoping it's going to fit. It is a 13,000 pound winch. It's wider than the worn winch I got on my Jeep, but I think it'll fit through the holes. I'm hoping I don't have to bust out the plasma cutter because nobody likes cutting brand new bumpers, but sometimes you have to so she's just on her way over then we can get this project started all right jeep jl just showed up brought some tim horton some tim bits trying to butter me up i think So the bumper came off, would have been easier to remove that lower skid armor too to get these inside bolts but the struggle is real, it just adds more work for four nuts. So now we got the issue with the fog lamps, so I got the plug right there, I got some dielectric grease in a bag that we're going to put on there, tape it up because in the future when we get some fog lamps. We're gonna cut the wiring harness and remodify it into the system. So I just got some fluid film. I'm just gonna spray those plates before the new bumpers put on to uh, help prevent any rusting between the two metals that are gonna be bolted together. So now that the winch is unboxed and the bumper is unboxed. I want to test fit it first because it is a 13 pound or 13,000 pound winch. I want to make sure we had enough clearance. Bolt holes are going to line up and we can access everything from the bottom because I don't want to be going through all this hassle and find out the winch isn't going to fit. But we're looking good. All right, we fit it up and I realize this metal plate has to get trimmed up take a big section out so I trimmed a bunch off hoping now the bumper will be able to fit it didn't seem like it was out too much but we're gonna find out so here's the bullshit that we're dealing with We are not even close to having the holes line up at all to get this bumper in place. The only way this bumper is going to fit is if we slot the holes going up or we cut these tabs off which ruins the structural integrity of the bumper so we're going to have to slot the holes. Like how freaking hard is it to fucking Get the holes to line up. So now after we die grinded the holes, slaughtered them upwards, we're able to fit 
all the bolts in. So the inside ones can be done with an extension. You could use a gun on them, but I am doing them up by hand. Bumpers on, high left caps are in place. Now, before we put the winch on, the fair lead has to go in first and we can bolt the bumper up. Wonder if we have enough. Uh, we should have enough. You never know with the aftermarket bumpers how much thread's going to be left sticking through, right? We're going 3H drive chrome. So this is the most important thing you want to check when this is on is that you want to make sure that there's no metal from the bumper or your winch mount that's extruding through because if you're winching it's going to rub on your rope and rip it. So I can tell you right now we're good to go. We can put the winch in. So now I take these special nuts side of the winch. There's a magic slot that we stick them in. We'll put them all in first before we put the winch on the mount. So going underneath, I used the bolts that came with the ARB bumper. I didn't use the hardware that came with. I used some Loctite to get them in. I don't know if you can see, but there is a spacer below the winch and the bumper. And we use that to get the rope in a little bit more straighter. That is looking it's looking really nice. Fits in there good. Does look pretty good so far. We need to run the electrical. Came with this hook. I don't like it. So we're swapping it out. We're going to do a few other changes too to make this a little bit better. But so far, A or B bumper after the struggle. Fitting it up is in, winch is bolted down. So I just cut the battery cable, get a little jumper, so we hook up the circuit breaker, and I just got the other end right here ready. And I bought this nifty tool a while ago. It's a hydraulic crimper. Comes with a bunch of dies, and this is the first time that I've used it. I'm telling you right now, it works pretty slick. Alright, got it crimped, put the heat shrink on it.
So this is the part that I don't like for the circuit breaker. If any of these terminals, other bars touch ground, it's going to cause a spark show. So I'm gonna wrap that in electrical tape and then wrap rubber around it so we can avoid that issue. So I got some ugly green electrical tape because no one's going to see it. I'm just going to wrap that up. Jesus, that wasn't supposed to arc like that. All right, we're going to make some changes here. Apparently, uh, I can't read the instructions. That's why we get a spark show. So, this black terminal right here, this long one that goes to the battery, has to go underneath where this thin black one connects. I just uh, assume that ground to ground, but you know when you assume, you make an ass out of yourself. So we're gonna swap that around and see if the smoke show continues. Yeah, not gonna lie, that made me jump. That made me jump. Almost made my my nuts retract. And uh, we'll fix this up, make it right before we burn down MJ's Jeep. She won't be happy. I just have to push it out of the garage before it totally catches on fire. So blocks been moved to underneath. This is all jacketed up, protected. This is gonna touch to the positive again and hopefully we don't short out our Jeep and cause another light show. See what happens. Okay, no spark show, we're good. So we're all connected. We didn't let the smoke out of the wires this time. That's why you read the instructions, but uh, we got the remote plugged in. And with the remote control, whoops, we also work. Hey, feeder in. More. Keep going. Whoa. Just kind of tap it. More. Oh, right there. Right there till we get your extra piece. So that the remote, if you don't, if you have the button like that, deactivates it and so the button has to be out. And then. This is all kind of rubber, but I wish I would have put that switch behind the rubber too. So I could see that getting all covered up with mud and guck. You know, make sure it's like that so you don't have the remotes hanging out somewhere and decide they're going to activate themselves by jumping around in a cubby hole or something and your winch starts operating. It's motherfucking beer time. We got some old Milwaukee here. Haven't had this for a long time. Unfortunately, it was on sale. And it was the cheapest beer, so that's why I picked it up. Cheers, everybody. So we got the winch installed on MJ's Jeep. The real test is going to be is be able to take it out and test it for real. There was two things with the winch. I didn't like I didn't like the washers that came with the mounting bolts for the winch. They're too small, they're too thin, and in my personal opinion, because a lot of aftermarket winch bumpers, the holes are fairly large, so if you don't have a big thick washer, there's a possibility that your winch 
could pull through or totally distort those washers. So that's why the A or B bumper, we used the hardware from that because in my opinion, it was a lot safer. I didn't like the hook that came with the winch. I'm not saying the hook doesn't work. I just don't like using that style. So we ditched it and upgraded it. And now we're good to go. It's just a moment of time. I've had out in the bush. See if we can get stuck. See if we can test it. But I want to thank you guys for watching. And we're going to do some testing with this later on. Right now it's a weird time of season. And uh, not really a whole lot that you're really going to get stuck in that you're going to test the winch. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.